really you like I thought the word nigger the other day. I'm going to tell you this story. And it wasn't racist. It wasn't a race even connotation. Let me tell you what happened. I went to a coffee place. And it was a, a, like a cool indie coffee. I don't like Starbucks anymore. Because you go there and they, they don't care anymore. They just press a button and some old lady's diarrhea comes out and they just give it to you. <laughs> so I go to like a young people cool coffee place with like my band's playing notices on the walls. And it's called like the howling do whatever thing. And... The dude behind the counter's got a tight t-shirt and a ponytail, and he's like, hey, what's up, man? And I was like, hey, can I get a cappuccino? And he's like, yeah, right on, totally. Like, he's amazed that he could help me. Like, oh, yeah, I got all this stuff right here. That's awesome. And so he starts making my coffee just so, he works so hard. He ground the beans just for the, that one cup and put them in the thing and tamped them with this old thing and he click clack and click and and then he took the milk and he frothed it like for all, like an hour and then he banged it on the counter I don't know why it was awesome and he scooped it in and put a little cocoa on it and he's like here you go man and I was just blown away and for some reason as I left there the thought in my head was that nigger made the shit out of my coffee <laughs> I don't know why he wasn't black that's just what was in my heart for some reason was that nigger made the shit out of my coffee. I don't know. I don't care. I'm all sweaty. I really